Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 81 of Road to 5 Million. And in this one, we're taking a load of bulls down to Burlington, Colorado. Let's get into it. This is our route, folks. Or route, depending on how you want to say it. And we haven't discovered Burlington. That's pretty much why I accepted this load. So, what you've missed... We emptied at BNSF in the last episode. I drove down here, discovered a Freightliner dealer, put the truck in the shop, changed the transmission. So we now have 390 gears in it instead of the 355s I believe I had, because they just weren't working very well. And then I came over here to Tractor Supply. Why we're getting a load of bulls out of there, I don't know. But hey, it is what it is. Okay, so there's that. Also, if you notice, we're short about, oh, I don't know, 150,000? Roughly? Well, that's because... I probably made another bad financial decision, but... It is shit show logistics. However, we expanded. We are full at the moment. And if I could figure out what icon I wanted there. So we have 15 drivers. She is our new one. Oh, and I just gave it away what I bought. It's coming in a future episode. And if you guys are keeping track, the Pete 362 that I'm driving now, John Ruta, truck, highway killer, John Ruta, truck, 389 glider, John Ruta, truck. This is the last one. Last American truck that he makes. So, and I was looking today, and if anybody's curious, the website, and, and I'm not promoting, I'm just, I know some people will want to know. You can either look up John Ruta on Google, or you can go to buy, B-Y, John, J-O-N-R-U-D-A.com. That's his website. And I looked today. Each one of these trucks is 25 bucks. And then you can also buy his American trailer pack, which you've seen some of those trailers as well. Uh, that comes with a tanker a hopper bottom, a flatbed, a reefer, and a low boy. So is that five trailers? Did I say that right? That pack is also 25 bucks for all of those trailers. However, if you're a big spender or want to be, if you have a gift card burning your, you know, a hole in your pocket that you got for Christmas and you play this game, you can actually buy his American bundle. It's it's called something. Anyway, for a hundred bucks and you get everything I just mentioned. So basically you're buying the trucks at twenty-five bucks a pop and getting the trailer pack for free is basically what it comes down to. Again, I'm not hashtag not an ad, I guess is what people say. I'm not sponsored by him, not being paid by him, not getting a commission, nothing. I just know people will have questions. So I'm answering them. I think that's it. I could show you the truck, but I'm not going to. And the other thing that frustrates me, I didn't record that little jaunt over to the Freightliner dealer, right? And guess what I saw? I saw a black W900 pulling a shit show logistics trailer. And just prior to that happening, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I wonder if my traffic mod is broke because I am not seeing hardly anything. And then all of a sudden I see this black truck coming down the road. And I was like, holy shit. That's one of ours. And I wasn't recording. So. 
yay me. And as you can tell by the, uh, the real world time up there in the right hand corner. Yeah, it's 10.54 as I'm sitting here recording. For those of you wondering why, because I know there's some of you. Look at that. Even though the sun's, sun's coming up, we are lit up like a shit house Turn in a fog left. storm, aren't we? And for those that don't know that reference, um, well, typically you want your shit houses lit up well at night so you know where you have to go to do your business. You know, speaking of that, my grandparents on my dad's side uh, lived on a farm when I was young. I don't think they they may have done field work. I don't know. When I was that age, I don't know for sure. I just remember it was a really cool place to go visit. Because they let me mow the yard because they had a riding lawnmower and being a little kid, that shit was awesome. I also learned that you don't pee on an electric fence at a young age. So I learned a lot out there on the farm as well. But one of the coolest things was they still had an outhouse, an operating one. I guess I should pay attention to traffic. What the hell is up with all the flashing? Oh, nothing to see here. That's just SES graphics. I can't tell if my blinker's on or not because I can't hear them. Which we'll get to in a moment. Although this truck wasn't very loud anyway. Hey, so grandparents had an operating outhouse. I used to think that was the coolest damn thing ever. Except in the winter time. It was a little chilly, if you know what I'm saying. And you're probably thinking, why would they have an outhouse if they had like a, a regular toilet in the house? Why not? I mean, it had been there for years. Um, I don't want to say that that was normally the highlight of my trip, but it was pretty damn close. I will admit, first couple of times, you know, at night it was a little scary. Go straight. Anyway, so that's, uh, yeah. Outhouse story. All right, so why am I up so late recording? Because I was trying to... Chris and I were talking earlier this evening, and he thought he had a... Uh, he had asked me if I had fixed my fast blinker issue when I looked left or right, and I would said no. And he said, I think I know what it is. And I said, okay, shoot. And he said, asked if I had my camera rotation when turning on. And I said, yes, I do. He's like, turn that off and I bet you it fixes it. I'm like, okay. So when I hopped into the profile, my test profile, actually it was my main profile. I've got three profiles. This one for recording, my main profile that I've Good always story. had, and then I created a test one, which I used for the live stream last Sunday. 
I'm liking this gear change because we're getting up to speed way quicker. So anyway, I hop into my main profile and I turn that off. No change whatsoever. So now I get into that mode, right? Because I've said before, I'm going to go down the rabbit hole of trying to figure shit out. Because it was never like that before. So trying to figure out what it is. And like I've said, I can start a fresh profile, no mods, no nothing, and it still does it with SCS trucks. So then the next thing I tried is I went to, I backed out of the game and I looked up the video that I found for the little mouse trick where I can hold the mouse button and let go and it snaps. Basically what you're doing by doing that is telling the game that you're using track IR, but you're not. And that's a motion thing, like you, you put it on your head and it detects your head movement, right? So you can actually just turn your head like you would in real life. So that's basically what that does. So I made sure that I I don't need to shift. Um, see what the gears does though? I thought by the RPMs that I needed to shift because typically, sidebar, typically when I shift, I shift by sound. Very rarely am I looking at the RPMs, and some of you people have probably figured that out. Like, well, maybe if you looked at those better, you wouldn't miss so many shifts. Valid point. Your recommendation is noted. So anyway, back to this blinker fiasco. So all of those settings were correct per the YouTube video I watched. But I'm an ex-Intel guy, so I want verification from like 18 different sources, right? So I'm going through forums from years ago and everything, and everybody basically says the same thing. Perfect. Um, but at that point, I'm stumped, right? I was like, okay. Well, I saved a backup of the control.sii file back before I even did this little thing to it, right? So I'm like, all right, well, let me just rename the current one to save that, and then I'll, you know, rename the backup to what it should be so it loads in the game. Still didn't fix it. It was, okay, so here's the thing. It was a little better. But if I still looked out to the left, the driver's side window really fast, you know how you can look all the way back, it would pick up speed. And you could even see the lights flash faster. So it wasn't just a sound thing, it was also visual. And I'm like, what the hell? So then as a last resort, on my test profile, I went in there and I just deleted the control.sii file which is fine because when you boot up the game if that file's not in there the game's going to create it and when the game creates it After 50 yards, turn right. it creates it with basically default settings So when I loaded into the game, I didn't have my steering wheel, my button box, my shifter, and I had a mouse and keyboard, that's all I had. So then I had to go look into the options to figure out what the heck the blinker key was and how to turn on the engine, because I haven't done that ever, honestly, with a mouse and keyboard. And wouldn't you know, it did the same damn thing. So, I put everything back to normal. I don't know what the hell it is at this point, but I do have a somewhat of a solution. 
and that is my blinker sounds were turned up to 100 percent I basically turned them down to 50. So now, if anything, I just don't notice it as much. Does it still bug me? Damn right it does. Am I still trying to figure out a way to uh, figure out what the issue is? Absolutely. issue is I can't figure out when that started happening. Which if I could narrow that down, I guess what I could do, I don't have that kind of time though. I could go through some of the older videos in the series and see if it was happening then and I just didn't notice it because then that could tell me where something may have changed but again like I said for the meantime I have the uh, blinker volume turned down to 50% that's why You don't hear that at all. You see it on the dash and you see it up at the top of the screen, but... Honestly, even when these were at 100%, you couldn't hear them anyway, so... I don't know if this is this truck or this transmission, but I hate when you're... maxed out like this I feel like in the in the back of somewhere behind me I feel like there's a bunch of car alarms going off at one time so here's the other thing for people that don't know about gear ratios put 390s in the rear end now and we aren't even getting above 65 miles an hour granted we're kind of going up a hill right now is a bigger motor, but I don't think a 600 horse 2050 torque motor was actually realistic in one of these. I mean, maybe there's somebody out there that souped one up, probably. So I guess I could get away with it, but kind of fun. Okay, stay off the rumble strips. I'm trying to look at too much information at once. down just a little bit though on the gears I would like to be running under 1500 rpm at this speed
Although to be fair too, we do have 77,000 pounds of beef on the ass end, so. We're probably, I mean, if that car goes 77,000, I don't know what these trucks weighed. I'm just taking a guess. 20, 19 to 20, maybe. I'll just say 20. So that's 97,000. And then you figure the trailer alone is probably 15. It's aluminum though, so maybe it's not 15. We'll just say 10 to make it easy. So we're around 107,000 pounds with this 500 horse motor. There's a, I really wish, and if somebody knows, hit me up in the comments or in the Discord, wherever. But I know if you call a truck dealer and say you want to order a truck they've got some type of program that you can tell them like your tire size all that crap tell them what kind of freight you're going to be hauling roughly you know an average weight type of thing and then where you're going to be running are you going to be on you know mainly long haul and interstate like we're doing are you going to be spending most of your time in the mountains what are you going to they can put all that in and the computer will kick out and be like, this is a a good gear ratio for you. And like I said, I'm not a gearhead. If I was a gearhead, I could probably figure that out myself. I know enough about them to be dangerous. I know the higher the number, the more shit you can pull. And you're not going to go as fast. The lower the number, It may take you six months to get up to speed, but when you get there, welcome to Colorado. When you get there, you're gonna be in a, in a better fuel mileage scenario. And that's what it's all about. It's all about running at your highway speed you want to run at. with the lowest RPM possible. Like right now, this is dumb. Running at 75 miles an hour at 1800, 1700 RPM. As we say in the business, all you're doing there is blowing money out the stacks. I can't. I have to wait. I guess this will tell us. This will tell us how close I was. Too. I'm pretty sure I also turned off my automatic blinker shut off which typically trucks don't have that anyway so I don't even know why that's an option but
All right, how close was he? What'd I say? 77 and 20, 97. So I said 107. Come on now. What was the margin of error? I said 107, that was 109. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I even press the hell out of myself once in a while. stop green car because I'm not stopping. I would like to think that's an AI thing, but it's not. I don't know who's dumber, people or the AI. at the sacrifice of top end and fuel mileage. I mean, if I have 390s in now, though, if I have... Jeez, that was a good sentence, Ty. If I have 390s in now, I wonder how much of a difference 411s would make. And I guarantee there's probably some old truck driver watching this that just has that answer right at the top of their <laughs> tip of their tongue. I don't. That is, that is one thing that I wish I would have learned more about driving a truck. And that's the mechanical side of things like that. Now, had I bought my truck from a dealer, I probably would have. But I got my truck. The truck I was leasing was nothing different than what Transport America gave their company drivers. So, and I didn't get a spec sheet with it or anything. I know it had a DD-15 Detroit motor. Exit right ahead. Um. Keep left. I'm surprised I didn't get a collision thing for that. That wasn't my fault, though. Oh, slow down, Ty. That was the other thing I did. I moved my... I didn't realize that my stability was at 100% which obviously is not realistic. So I lowered my stability to 50% for both truck and trailer. And I put my suspension stiffness at about 60, 60, 75%, which that feels pretty normal to me at this speed. Actually, not completely. I could up it a little bit. Like, doing this down... Well, I don't know about this truck. But my Freightliner Cascadia... 
you can move the wheel back and forth like this and it wouldn't the cab wouldn't shake this bad but again though I would assume a cab over is a little different This isn't blocked. Update on the Steam mod. It surpassed me. And what I mean by surpass me is the mod now has more subscribers than I do. Which I think is cool. I mean, it's fantastic. right that that's exhaust temperature she's warm also updated the mod today with some, I think six, don't quote me on that, um, custom mud flaps for the trailers. Sit only. 
I may as well stay right here. had a small, small heart attack for a second as I looked over at my tablet with the SIM dashboard info. It said time remaining 5 hours 33 minutes and then it said next rest stop in 4 hours. I'm like, uh oh. That's time remaining for the, the load to be delivered on time. if I would just look up at that fancy overlay that I have up there over to the right it, I would have known that we've only got two minutes I don't know how they're unloading the cattle here, but... That crawler tractor over there on that low boy screaming my name.
I don't think we could have done any better than that, huh? Okay, Ty, don't hit that switch. You own the trailer. Current company job offers. Hmm, it's funny, I don't see where they would have these here. There's not going to be anything that is short, is there? Do we have sterling? I believe we do. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? That's what I'm going to do. Because I don't know how many people have actually seen this anyway, so let's do this. I need to sleep in three hours, so let's kill, oh, I don't know, three birds with one stone. We're going to come down here. drive in this camera view. Surprised I actually read it, aren't you? Those are some weird looking hay bales. You have reached your destination. All right, so what's closer? How am I doing on fuel? Oh, I got half. Hey, there's one of our trucks. Look at that. I don't know what happened to the rear suspension. May have to get that looked at. Should probably give my logistics manager a call. May as well get her serviced while we're here. Does this tell me what I have in it? 
13 speed. It's alright, we're about to find out. Because we're about to change it. Oh, that's why, because I already had 390s. That's why we were maxed out at that. Okay. So to get a little more speed and lower, I need to go... I thought I had 355s in it, though. So if you look over under the truck analysis, that's what... It's basically showing you what I've been trying to explain. See how the normal cargo is going up? Because these are more, air quote, highway gears. But they're not good for pulling heavy loads. Like 77,000 pounds, I mean... And then see how this goes up. But your motor has a lot to do with it too. Obviously it's a combination. Let's go 370. We'll spend five grand to get the gears changed. yellow lines there okay so if this is how you enter oh you gotta go all the way around the shop okay got it So for those that, that don't know what I was talking about by that yellow line, so that is there for, for when you are done refueling, that you pull your nose up to that yellow line and then the next truck has enough room to get and fuel. Four dollars and thirty cents a gallon. So what did we spend? Six grand? We came here and spent six grand between that and fuel. confused right now like why is he backing up well because you see this parking spot right here behind me is empty so
surely I have to be getting close to that curb. I am, and please don't call me Shirley. Oh, that must run on its own battery power because the lights are off. Oh, we're back up to 602. We just have drivers. Oh, speaking of which, I need to check that because in my rush, Hanka, Hanka, Hanka K. Yeah, I left her unbalanced. How many loads is she? I literally bought her. Okay, wait a minute. That sounded, we're going to start that sentence over. I literally hired her prior to recording this episode. So in that amount of time, she's ran three loads. Doesn't that just look mean? Anyway. So look at her go. Won't be long, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to have to start thinking about, or I am, one of the two. I don't know. If you guys want to participate, drop it down in the damn comments on where you would like a garage at. Those are all your spots. So, I'll go slow. You can pause the episode, do whatever you need to do. Obviously, the green ones we already own. So all of those yellow ones is where we could buy one. Last check of the bank. What do we owe? 371. All right. So probably about episode 83, I'm guessing. So Saturday, maybe. Maybe ready to buy a new garage. Although as I'm recording 83, you guys will be watching this one. So either way, I don't know. I'll wait and see if anybody comments anything and if nobody does I'll just pick one myself and with that ladies and gentlemen episode 81 comes to an end if you made it this far I appreciate you if you haven't subscribed yet please do and don't forget to drop a like on your way out and until the next one y'all take care bye